Hey guys, we're finishing up the big block Mopar Dangerous Donnie's 540 and we've got the M1 completely finished. Last time you guys saw it I forgot whole sections. <laughs> whole sections weren't, weren't textured correctly. That tends to happen. I don't know if I'm just getting old or what but everything's textured at this point. We uh, did our final flow tests with the back cuts and the edge on the exhaust valve that we're going to keep. And we're going to sail the string and see if it looks any different than the last time you guys saw sail the string through here. Okay, I'm going to turn off this light. We're going to fire in the hole. Okay, something different that I haven't really tried before was take my pito and I was trying to go right in this corner and get a speed. I did see upwards almost 300. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you guys on the screen. I'm going to turn off my light and I'm going to try to follow this roof all the way down and see what the speed is. Now, if I did my if I did my taper well, I would think the speed should slowly accelerate all the way to the valve. So I can't get all the way down there, but Pito is pretty long. We're going to see what we can do. All right, we're going to have to do it part two. I almost lost my phone right into the uh, mouth of this plenum, literally. Uh, be careful where your phone is when you turn on uh, the bench. So we'll have to get that edited back together. I'm sure Wifey will love that. Nothing makes her quite as happy as that. Let's try that again.
Okay guys, not as easy as I would have thought because as I'm as I'm going down, I'm trying to keep it relatively centered in the runner. Uh, I don't know how good uh, a job I was really doing with that. But you could see it definitely accelerated on its way down. Uh, was it perfectly smooth? No. But when I have two hands, it's definitely a lot smoother. I, I will tell you that. Okay, I wasn't showing you because I, I need, definitely needed two hands for it. But what I did is I took this wall. Of course, the light is right in my way. Took this wall and I followed this wall all the way down. And sure enough, right, right about where this starts to turn fast, your speed goes up. Which, of course, doesn't really surprise probably anybody. Okay, let's take a look at our... Uh, our flows and be done with this project already okay guys what did we get well both were third cut both were the same the same back cut on the valve about point eight two okay so need more hands up okay sorry turn that fan off let's do some pluses and minuses Okay, what's changed? Really, almost nothing should have been changed. But I do believe it's a different valve because I've been cutting all my valves. So, it's had the final valve job done. It's got its valve in. It's been lapped. It's ready to go. Okay, this is what we got. Minus, 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 plus, plus, minus, plus, minus, minus, minus. It's a loser over the last one. Is there any rationale to that? Not really, but that's the way it's going to be. All right, we're still quite good, right? We're 232 at 300. It's actually better at 300, okay? A little bit of loss in here. I couldn't care less. How do we top out? Well, we don't go, we don't go down, which is a nice change. I mean, point one I can live with. But it didn't quite top out as well right here as the other one. I guess we can look at the air speeds and maybe we'll find something different. The only thing that comes to mind is it may be the other head. <laughs> In which case it looks pretty darn good because we definitely have some discrepancies as far as our air speeds. This is what we did with the last one. This is what we have did now. Notice the pinch is faster. Now I'll tell you right now the area on the pinch is almost identical. And they're both taken at 0.75. I didn't record exactly what it was running at 0.75 inch. But we got a plus plus equals. We're a little more even, but we definitely lost some speed on the center of the cylinder side. And how did we do on our short side is pretty much screaming. Uh, 464. I don't I don't really think I've seen too many 464s on a on a short side. That's really, really screaming. Okay, uh, swirls, plus, minus, plus, plus, minus, 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 plus, plus, plus. Definitely a little bit different swirl curve. we got more than enough to take care of it. Plain head. That will change when we put our intake on. Okay, we're going to compare our first one with a, uh, our exhaust with a radius. And this is an exhaust with a radius. Now, it's I know for a fact it's a different valve. And I did make the radius a little bit smaller. So we'll see if it's a win or if it's a loss. This is what we got. We got a plus and equals. Plus, 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 minus, minus, plus. Oh, sorry, that's a minus. Plus, 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 plus. plus. All right, max is out at 295 with a pipe, which is not bad. Remember, I didn't make that exhaust huge. In fact, the outlet is exactly the size it was. And I didn't do a ton of re redesigning on it. I could have put a bigger exhaust port in, but I, since it flowed as well as it did, I didn't think we needed it. Uh, you guys let me know whether you think uh, I needed to, to do more to that. Let's take a look at our airspeeds. Okay, the bottom is the latest one. It doesn't look like a winner. Minus, plus, minus minus plus 
plus, minus, minus, minus. But side to side, look how close we are. Tough to beat 327, 327. Usually a little bit faster on the center of the cylinder side, but still not bad. Remember, you can't give it any more area on this side. You got another valve in the way. You can give it a lot more area on this side, but you've already got a speed discrepancy. Do you really want to give it a ton more area and drop that speed even lower? That might lower the efficiency. It is worth a try. I mean, especially if you have a junk head and you could uh, you could do stuff like that. Experiment like that is definitely worth your time. Okay, 307, 263. Definitely closer than we were here. We had more speed here. And they were moving at 0.75. They're both moving almost identical. This one was 241 at 7, and this was 242 at 7. Okay, so let's move on to what it was doing with the carb. Okay, it's almost identical to the last time we did it with the carb, so I wanted to show this one. This one has no back cut on, on this. So these numbers here is with the 950 carb through the intake. We're going to compare them to these and see how we did. Okay, I think that's tremendously informative, okay? This was done without a back cut. This was done with a back cut. <sighs> Equals. This is... That's not correct. Okay. Without a back cut, actually flowed way more at 0.1 inch lift. I think that's interesting. But after that, we start taking off. Notice how big some of these gains are. 137 to 163. Now it's the same intake, it's the same carb, it's the same head. This was probably before the valve job, I'll be honest. So I did gain a few CFM when I cleaned the valve job up. But still, 202.9 to 230, that's a huge, that's a huge increase. Huge increase, right? 20, almost 20 CFM, all right? 10 CFM. Now it starts to get less. Right? Only four, only three, only four. Okay, well, let's take a look at our swirls. Okay, these pluses and minuses are in reference to these. Minus, 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 minus. It actually backs right down in the middle of the curve, which a lot of guys would say is not really a bad thing because you want to use that energy to fill. And then, right around the lifts we're going to be at in, we're 1,600 plus, which will get it done. That's through the intake manifold. Remember, the intake manifold does make a difference on how it swirls. So, as far as I'm concerned, these are the numbers that Daniel Powell's going to get. All right, he's going to be upset it's only 371 and not 400. Sorry, that's the best we can do without major surgery, and we're not doing that. And where are we? Well, we're 324, 338 through the carb. Now remember, that's a 950 carb. I originally thought this was going to need about 11, 1100 CFM carb. Would that make a difference? Well, it's not that much difference without the carb. Where did we go? We got 352 without the carb. So you'll gain a couple CFM without the restriction. In fact, sometimes it's a little funny. The Venturi's organize the air enough that the whole system will flow more. It's one of those things you gotta you gotta put it together and test it. And then again, when you put it on the street, it may run a way it may run run way better on a 950 than an 1100. It's one of those things you have to try. All right, guys. I think we're going to put a fork in this project. It was fun. Kinda. Hope you enjoyed it. All you Mopar guys. And, uh, I'm not 100% sure what I've got in the hopper. I gotta finish the L29s. And I'm well enough. It's five months out of surgery. I should be able to lift that by now. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.